Now I've been asked by a few people about the kind of equipment that I use while making these videos. Let me show you one of the most important pieces that you're gonna use that people often overlook. They, they think, well, I need to worry about microphones or, or, or camera quality or lighting or whatever. It's the thing that they overlook is the tripod. And because I'm out on quarantine right now, let me show you the three tripods that are my go-to tripods. Number one is this Manfrotto. This is a great tripod. It is very stable. Um, very stable. It's about 15 to 17 pounds. Uh, it does a great job with what, what I need it for. Um, it, and the cost of it was quite expensive. This was about a $250 tripod. And so that was a lot of money that I invested in that. But it was great. When I shoot night trails, like star trails or uh, galactic course or Milky Way shots, this is the tripod I use because I need something that's gonna stay steady for a long time and not like the wind blows a little bit. This isn't going anywhere, okay? This tripod, this is a cheaper one that I got on Amazon and I use this one more than I use this one. And so if you look at per usage time on how much it costs, how much a tripod pod costs you for each usage that you have, you'll find that this is the most expensive and is the most expensive per use. This is the one that I use a lot. This is about $69 and it came with a cell phone holder that goes up top with it. You can use your mirrorless, your DSLR on it, but it came with that holder that I use and I shoot a lot with my cell phone. Okay, that's that one. They're both great. This one can actually, you can unscrew some of these things and come up with a monopod for more hiking, but I like to take the full thing because it's so light. It's probably about, so it's under five pounds. So that's a lot easier to carry. But the tripod that I use the most, the tripod that, that seems to be my go-to tripod for a lot of things tends to be this. Now, when I'm in a studio situation or I'm at home, these are, these are great. So a studio situation, when I say studio, I mean my office. These are great. But this one right here, this one is about 15 bucks. Now I've looked recently online to see what they are on Amazon um, and they range, there's a whole bunch of people that sell this exact same tripod and the prices vary from $15 up to 30 bucks. But most of them are about 20 bucks or less. But this was still there today um, at $14.99. So let me tell you what I love about this tripod. This tripod, you put your phone on it and I use it at my desk. So if I'm doing something, I can show them, I can show very simple and easily. I can show them what I'm working on. Um, if I want it to be on me and it's still on my desk, I just raise it up a little bit. Okay, let me pull it up. And I raise it up a little bit. Okay, I want it at that level. Um, if I want to have it even on the floor, this is why we use it when we go on vacation because we set it up here and when we run back here. Now here's the other cool part about it. It comes with a Bluetooth remote. And so you can control the phone, tell it to shoot the picture. So you put that down, put your phone on it, run back, tell it to shoot the picture or start recording. And so this tends to be a go-to one that I use a lot just because the best tripod is, tends to be the one that you've got on you. It's the same way with the camera. The best camera is the one that you've got with you. After filming that last section, I realized I forgot to tell you, this one can also be a selfie stick. Uh, you saw the way it got really tall. That's because it's designed to be a selfie stick. So I, I thought that was kind of cool. I never thought myself as a selfie stick person. I saw the people who used them and it uh, actually kind of irritated me when I saw them using it. I don't know why, it just did. Then I used it and I realized it's kind of nice being able to get a picture that's not just the faces of my wife and I or my family and I. We can actually get some stuff around us to show exactly where we are without having to put the camera down and walk away from it. Um, so the question is, these three different tripods, which is the best tripod? You ready? Not this one. This one is a great selfie stick and a little travel tripod. It's fun, it's nice, but this isn't the one. If I had to have just one, that's not it. It's not the big, heavy, expensive one either. This one is great. It's just, it's just too heavy for most, most day use stuff. This is the one. This is one of the $69. It came with a cell phone holder. It can hold my DSLR and my mirrorless cameras. Um, it's heavy duty enough to be a, a decent tripod. Anyway, if you like these videos, 
please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know you hear all that kind of stuff, but it helps me understand that uh, these videos are important or that they are being liked or enjoyed or whatever. And so just give me a thumbs up or and if you want to kind of keep up with what's coming out, hit the subscribe. If not, that's cool too. Anyway, have a great day. I hope this is going to help you out in your teaching. Thank you.